welcome to the Stop Over Drinking and Start Living podcast, where high achieving, goal oriented rebel women come to learn how to live a vibrant and fulfilling life without requiring alcohol to get through it. No labels, no judgments, no saying you'll never drink again, just real proven methods to help you stop rebelling against yourself with alcohol so you can drink less and do more. I'm your host, Angela Masenik. Let's dig in. Welcome to episode 197, Being Unmotivated. Well, hello, 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 everybody. Can you believe that it's early October, almost mid-October? It's crazy. Why does this time of the year, just like after like um, Labor Day, it just like, okay, the the holidays are among us. The end of the year is happening. There's no more time left. (laughs) That's where my mind wants to go. But the truth is there's actually quite a bit of time left. We have... um, two and a half months left of the year, which so much can happen for anybody with anything, with any goal that you're working on. So the today's um, podcast is called Being Unmotivated. And before I get into that, I want to give you a couple reminders. So we are getting ready to celebrate the 200th episode of Stop Over Drinking and Start Living. And I'm very excited about that. And I want to hear from you. How do you want to celebrate the podcast? If you're a dedicated listener, I'd love to hear from you um, with how it's helped you in your relationship with alcohol or any other area of your life. Please send me an email, hello at angelamasenic.com, and let me know how the podcast has supported you. You could also support the podcast by leaving an iTunes review. That helps more people see the podcast and in turn helps more people drink less. Um, if you want to be shouted out in the podcast, I can use your name. If you don't want me to use your name, when you send me that email, just tell me you don't want me to. Um, if you want me to answer any questions on this 200th episode, maybe something that you've been dying to know about me, my history, my story, the people that I help, or some a piece of advice that you would like to answer Um, you would like me to answer directly, please let me know in the email. So you can shoot me an email at hello at angelamasenic.com with a question, comment, how the podcast has helped you. And I would love to share as many as possible on the 200th episode. 200 episodes is a lot, right? Four years of podcasting every week. (laughs) So that's that. And then we also, I'm doing a wine-free work week. At the end of October, October 27th through, I don't know the exact dates, honestly. <laughs> you got to go look at the link. Um, it's a wine-free work week challenge. It might be the 26th through the 29th or the, I don't know. But go check out the link. It's um, Monday through Thursday, so wine-free work week or alcohol-free work week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And I'm going to be leading and coaching you every day live For those four days, you're going to join a group of other women who are taking this challenge together. You get a workbook and a daily email with a tip and advice on how to make the Wine Free Work Week challenge fun and help you get to the root of why you're over drinking. And if your first response is like, F no, I don't think I can do that, you should do it, okay? Um, Because there's no failing here. It's, It's fun to take a challenge. It's fun to stretch yourself. And you will be a part of something that's pretty moving and inspiring and you will not feel alone in what you're struggling with. And you get to come and get direct support by me for 100% no cost, okay? So make sure you click the link and sign up for the Wine Free Workweek Challenge. Okay, so I wanna talk to you all about being unmotivated. And this came up because I was traveling for almost two weeks in Italy and I took that time off work and I really let myself relax and that's not really easy for me to do. It takes me a few days to have boundaries with myself and you know when I want to think about work or want to go check my email or get in my Facebook group or something like that, I'm like, okay, no, (laughs) you said you didn't do that. And then after a few days of me really holding myself to my own boundaries with taking time off, then I'm really able to get into it and relax. And it was so amazing to 
not think about anything. Like everything on my trip was taken care of for me. I didn't have to decide what to eat, where to go, um, plan anything, um, map out anything. Like it was, I was totally taken care of and it was so, so good for me, you know, because I have three kids, you know, I'm married, I've got a very full-time coaching practice and business and a lot of friends and, you know, I'm, I'm pulled in a lot of different directions and to be able to retreat myself into a place that was beautiful and around amazing people and not have to think through any details or decisions um, for work or for personal life um, was very, very good for me. So I was fully able to be present in the moment and relax. And then I came back and then all of my kids got sick and then I got sick. <laughs> So I haven't been able to really um, work. I actually had to have my coach who works part-time for me come in and lead a call for me inside my program. And I'm just now starting to feel better. And it's been about a week. And I'm not real good at being sick either because I don't get sick very often. It wasn't COVID. It's just a mild cold. But it, it did put me down for a bit. And my brain wants to go to... um you know, I should be doing more and, um, like kind of beating me up on my lack of productivity for the past, I don't know, three and a half weeks. And I have to remind myself that I was on vacation. It was an intentional shutdown for myself and that I'm sick. And I'm also intentionally not forcing myself to do things that I don't need to be doing. And that takes a learning Um, how, you you know, like being able to um, be aware of your thinking and how you feel. So like I noticed that I was feeling unmotivated and like not really excited to do anything. And, you know, I had to remind myself that, you know, I don't need to be doing, my value isn't created on how much I produce in a single day or whatever, right? And that's hard sometimes because like if we're not really aware of what we're thinking or how we're feeling, we can't really diagnose some of that stuff. So I noticed I was feeling kind of flat, kind of unmotivated. And I, you know, I have to get aware of my thinking so that, you know, that's a a date with myself in my journal. And I dump out all of my thoughts about um, my work and health and all the other things. Right. And the thing about motivation you know, besides how I've been feeling recently, um, is that motivation doesn't always happen, right? So like usually we feel motivated when we see something exciting and we want to take some action towards it. Maybe it's, um, we're motivated to plan a trip. Okay. So we really want to do something. We see it or like, yes, I want to do that. And you start planning. Okay. So that's like, you're naturally motivated to go do that because there's some excitement involved and whatnot. Maybe you just bought something and you're motivated to wear it or take really good care of it or something. Or maybe you're motivated to stop over drinking um, because you, you know, participated in Wine Free Work Week Challenge or you just joined my program, right? And you're feeling, yes, this is going to work and yes, I'm going to do this and blah, 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 right? And like you're really feeling that motivation. But I think I've talked about this before that that motivation feeling doesn't last forever, right? It's we think it's a problem. I hear from so many of you, it's just like, I'm just not motivated. I'm just not motivated. And I think that thought itself should be evaluated. Um, Being unmotivated isn't necessarily a problem. You can get yourself into action mode, into doing things, even while you're feeling unmotivated. And I do this a couple different ways. If you notice that you're not naturally like driven to go do the things that maybe you promised yourself that you would do. So maybe if you're one of my clients, that's, you know, making a weekly drink plant at the start of the week, attending a coaching call, um, doing some work in, in one of your monthly workbooks, journaling, getting outside and moving your body, you know, making a food plan, doing some evaluations when you're not following through on yourself. If you're not doing some of that stuff, And you notice it's been, you know, a week or so or two weeks and you're like, I'm just not motivated. And you notice that. That's great. That's great awareness. You notice you're not doing what you're doing, but it's like we think when we say that to ourselves, I'm just not motivated. It's a problem. And I'm here to tell you, it's not a problem that you're not feeling naturally motivated. (laughs) It's just called being a human in regular human day-to-day life. Okay. 
So when I notice this for myself, I'm always like, okay, I'm not feeling motivated. That's all right. But what am I feeling? Right? So maybe I'm feeling flat. Maybe I'm just feeling stuck. Maybe I'm feeling pissed off. Um, Whatever it is, you just want to name it. So I'm not feeling motivated. Right? Motivation is a feeling that you feel in your body that drives some pretty quick action. Okay? And it feels it feels up, right? It feels like, ooh, like your shoulders are back, you're sitting tall on your chair, you're like, yes, right? You're kind of like up, right? Being unmotivated, you know what that feels like. It's it's not that, right? It's not an up sort of energetic, I'm gonna go do something real quick type feeling, right? So you want to name what that feeling is for yourself. For in this moment, what am I feeling if it's not motivated? You just ask yourself that question. Okay, name it. And then you're like, okay, so I'm feeling this way, but what can I still do today that would move me towards my goals when I'm feeling this way? Okay, so this morning for myself, I was feeling kind of flat. I'm like, okay, I'm feeling flat, but what can I still do? Right? (laughs) What can I still do? And so I made a list for myself of things that I could do today. And then you just go do them right? You don't need motivation to move you into action. And to think that you will, or to think that you need to find your motivation again is just, it's just, they're kind of like brain errors or lies that your brain is trying to tell yourself. It doesn't work and it doesn't really make sense. You don't need to find motivation to go do something. Okay. We, we do things all day long that we don't really naturally feel motivated to do right? Like sometimes I don't feel motivated to take the dog out. Sometimes I don't feel motivated to make my kids breakfast. Sometimes I don't feel motivated to, you know, work on the back end of my business, right? But we do those actions because of our commitments that we made to ourselves and others, right? It's because like I said, I was going to do this and this is something that needs to get done. Not because we're feeling motivated. So when we're trying to change our health or we're trying to stop over drinking or stop overeating, we got to drop this idea that we need to find our motivation again, okay? You'll be chasing something that is very hard to chase. When it happens and you are feeling motivated, that's awesome. Go for it. Go big. (laughs) I actually have a podcast on momentum which like, you know, when you're when you're like at the beginning of the year or you set a new goal or something, you want to take advantage of that motivation and like really get some good habits in place because it's not going to last forever and like the more you can like really lay the groundwork down, that's awesome when you're naturally feeling this way, but you can try to manage your mind to feel more motivation, but I have found that that doesn't really work. I would love to hear from you if you have found yourself feeling that natural high of motivation by changing the way you think about stuff. Okay. When I'm thinking about my goals, so right now, um, I'm going to be 45 next April and that's about six months from now. And I want to make 45 the year of being alive. When I turned 40, I said, I wanted 40 to be the best year of my life. And 40 is the year that I quit drinking. It's the year I found life coaching. It was by far like the biggest year of like, transformation for me in my health as well and losing weight and all that stuff, starting my business. And 45 is going to be alive. Like I want to be, I want to be fit as F, you know, I want to be like, I've had always had this dream of just like being really muscular and lean and, um, super, super fit. And I've never really tried to go for it. You know, I'm a runner and I run half marathons and train and do all this kind of stuff, but I've never been one that has really lifted a lot of weights and try to like change my body composition. And this has been a quiet whisper of mine for years. And this is the year that I'm not going to ignore it anymore. So I am like making, I'm going to make 45 the year of being alive. And I'm working on that now. Because (laughs) I'm turning 45 um, in six months and I want to arrive to that birthday with this dream full on in progress. Okay, so I am thinking about that. I am um, visualizing that. I am writing out my goals every day around that. And when I think about the motivation, yeah, I'm motivated to do it, but I don't feel like, oh, like that hyper up energy that I described about motivation. 
So when I'm creating a goal and I'm intentionally thinking about that goal every day, I'm more um, tapping into the feeling of like determined or belief or committed. Those are more steady, um, sustainable, easily creatable in how I think type feelings versus motivation. So my thought processes to um, achieve my goals because our thoughts create our reality, our thoughts that we have about our goals create those re- those goals actually happening. When I do that for myself, I'm choosing feelings like committed, um, belief, like really like a I feel it in my bones type feeling, belief that that will happen, dedication or commitment because those are so much easier and steadier and I can think that to create that feeling in my body pretty much any time. But motivation for me doesn't feel like that. I can't, oh, I'm not feeling motivated right now. I'm feeling maybe flat. Come up with a thought that's like super energizing and motivating. So if you've done that, let me know. But just a little bit about my process and what I'm working on. It's like my thoughts are like, I'm doing this. Um, this is happening. Like they're very simple and very like committed, like, there's no question that this is going to work for myself. Does that make sense? So being unmotivated isn't a problem to recap all of this. If you're, if you have started something new or you're in the process of changing your relationship with alcohol or losing weight, whatever it is that you want to be doing, and you notice you've lost that initial motivation to do the work, acknowledge that be like, I'm not feeling motivated. So what is it that I am feeling? Name your feeling. Okay, and then ask yourself, okay, even when I'm feeling this way, what can I do today that will help me move towards my goal? Because it's not some big thing that we're going to do. It's our little daily activities that we do that in the grand scheme of things don't really matter, right? Like you going to the gym one day isn't going to get you into a bodybuilding um, competition, (laughs) right? But if you went to the gym and lifted weights every day for six months, that might be a reality. But Focus on the little things that you can do today, no matter how you feel, okay? I'm talking emotionally. Of course, if you're sick, you need to take a break. If there's other things going on, but generally speaking, we're not going to feel motivated to do these things on the regular, but you can still override our instinct to to take action from your emotional state by saying, I acknowledge how I'm feeling. I'm still going to do these three things today. Okay, just like we do those other things for those other people when we don't feel like doing it either. Okay, you deserve to do those things for yourself, even when we're not feeling super motivated. Okay, so stop thinking that being unmotivated is a problem. Start believing in yourself. Start following through on those commitments you made to yourself, even when you're not feeling like it. Okay, you can even tell yourself, I'm not feeling like it today, but these are the things I'm going to do anyway. And once you start really met, like exercising that muscle, following through, even when you're not feeling like it, you will make so much more progress towards your goals than waiting for this idea of motivation to come to you. All right, my friends, don't forget to sign up for Wine Free Work Week at the end of the month. There will be prizes. It will be fun. We're bringing the heat. It'll be a great time for you to really have a micro focused few days with live interaction for me to get support to look at your relationship with alcohol taking a four-day break will help you see the reasons why you're drinking help you move through some obstacles and you will feel super empowered by the end of those four days all right my friends talk to you soon bye